Hey hello, welcome by Let's Go Fishing. Keegan, we're gonna talk English today. Hi. <laughs> welcome guys, we're fishing Clip Drift Dam today. Um, Clip Drift is in the northwest province, just um, between Cartonville and Poch. Well, what's the highway? N12. Oh, N12. N12, on, on the N12. Yeah. Keegan, Boota is fishing with me. Welcome, buddy. Thank yeah. you. Thank we, you. We're fishing Keegan's spot today. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Keegan, we're going to catch some big fish today, hopefully. With the weather, definitely, we're yeah. going to catch a lot of big fish today. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give Keegan a bit of a reprieve. As you will Afrikaans praat, meer as welkom, boot Why don't you? Know <laughs> okay, um, Keegan, what are we going to do today? You, you said you've got a special spot at, at Clip Drift. Yes, um, this is stand 71 at Lakeview. Okay, so this is a public resort, not yes. private resort. No, anyone is welcome to fish here. Okay. Um, and definitely with the Signature Series products, we're going to catch a lot of big fish today. Uh, I hope so, I hope so. Um, I'm new to the feed room, so... Yeah, yeah this, this is one of the things. Keegan is one of my pro anglers that used to fish with another feed. So I said, eh, eh, no more. Today I'm introducing him to, to our new feed. And uh, we mixed it, we put a bit of grit in it for, for some extra weight. Yes. So, just one thing on the feed. We've got three packets of feed on the market at this stage. We've got a 1.5 kg clear packet, then we've got a, a 2 kg orange packet, and then we've got a 3 kg um, clear packet, a see-through packet. Everything, the feed is exactly the same in all those packets. There's not, no, nothing changes in the feed. It's all the same. I haven't got time to, to mess around with feed. And I think the new feed that we've got out is something something special. And it catches a lot of fish everywhere we go. The orange packet's gonna go off the market um, very soon. We're replacing that with a lime green packet. And then eventually all the packets is gonna go into that lime green. So Keegan, yeah, I think you're in for a, for a jewel today. How far are we gonna fish today? Um, I think the closest will be 65 then we can work ourselves up to about 115 125 mm, not, not not further than that yeah not further than that because there's a lot of silt in the water at the back right. but we might if there's um, if we are struggling in front we might get some big gap in the silt with long hook links okay so that's something to keep in mind all right and um, also there's a we call it a grace yeah yeah um, in front of us very deep water so if we can um, keep on fishing that um, that distance and keep on working the spot then yeah, they'll come. Yeah. Tip, typical clip drift, typical clip drift, yeah. Um, just one thing, we've got some, some inclement weather moving in. Um, I, I'm not sure how long we, we do have today. But yeah, we're here to fish and it's part of fishing. Yes, um, we're going to bait up, see, see if we can catch a couple quick ones, catch a couple of big ones. And yeah, good luck buddy, let's Thanks. catch him. Well, All right. Thank you. Well. All right guys, my first rod is ready to go in. Um, what I've done here is I've, I fish... Um, a, a bit of beer here with a bit of spitfire on top of that and it's one of the things that works really well in clip drift especially here at lakeview and then um, as a hook bait i've got a small little um, yellow raptor float on with a longish white dough biggish hook bait because i'm tra i'm targeting a bigger bigger fish um, normally i'll put this back into custard especially on days when there's no wind but if there's wind like this I, I'd like for the flavor to dissipate into the water very quickly. Let's get it in. Let's see how long it takes before we catch one. Okay, Keegan, what did you op your eerste stok daar? Okay, Wim, so I get wiskunde in F250, maar ek het hulle oor mekaar gesit. Okay. So, um, verkieslik sit ek altijd die dips oor mekaar, en dan het ek uh, um, raptor fluitie, so okay. met uh, geel deegie. Okay, bak gaat. So, is hy tubbe garlic deeg wat jy gemaakt het? Yes, is die tubbe garlic deeg. Alright, so, easy peasy. Tubbe garlic dough. Remember when you come to Clip Drift, make it for yourself. The mayor of um, Clip Drift says it works yeah. Definitely. Get it in. <laughs> Shop is Alright, I'm ready to put the dips on my second rod. Um, let's start with um, hard garlic float out of the signature series. Plain white dough and then Wiskunde. Wiskunde contains a, bit, a lot of TCP and when the wind blows, especially in Clip Drift, um, TCP is one of those flavors that gives a lot of fish and I'm not going to be shy with this one I'm going to put a lot of that on and with that I'm going to put some Kiana just on the other side of the bowl and just smudge it like that easy peasy no mess no fuss what I like to do with the Viscander 
if you paste it like this it's going to stick a bit longer and it's going to take the flora all the way down and on active days like this when the water is lively the fish likes the flora in, in clip drift. Keegan, your second rod is ready to go back out. What have you got on there? I've got Murbe and Scallion and on the ball. I made sure I mixed them on the ball as well. And I have a Kiana float also on the ball, uh, uh -huh. on the hook, with a um, plain white dough that I put in some aniseed. All right. So, you just yeah. rubbed it in the aniseed. Yes. I old, did. old clip drift trick. Yes. Just one thing on the scallion quickly. Scallion is a, is a very strong onion dip. Um, and I got my protea colors for the first time in this dam with onion. Yeah. So it's, it's actually quite fitting that you do that. The moorbay, all of you guys know the moorbay, it's proper mulberry. And mulberry in Afrikaans is a moorbay. So um, yeah, I think that's going to work well. And I, I think we must tell the people why we are fishing with one hook today. Yeah, you told me there's bigger fish here yeah? and um, lately there's been, um, the, the guys have been losing a lot of fish in clip drift. So we decided to fish one hook because we've got some reeds here as well. And um, we're fishing a bit bigger hooks as well. So you're going to do what you say slip cast now. So yeah. that, that's your signature, your signature cast. Yes. Show us how you do it. 100% to him. Like a lazy old run. First fish on, on the short rod. Keegan told me on this left hand side of this peak with, that we're sitting on, there's a, a bit of a hole here on about 65 to 70 meters. And this was on that hard raptor float. Um, it's been in the water for a while. I must say that this morning there was a lot of rain as we came down the dirt road. It was mud all over the place. So, oh, nice fish. Oh, it's on top of the water. There was mud all over the road. And uh, we knew it's gonna, it was going to be a difficult day. But that's the first one. So hopefully they'll start coming now. Oh, it's not a big one, but it's a first fish and a welcome one. Typical clip drift carp. Keegan, I'm watching you. Woo! Hey, 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 first fish. <laughs> like a boyki. On his bait, um, he re recommended that I throw the um, beer here with the Spitfire and that the hard raptor float with a small white dough. So that's the first fish. Here's our first fish, not big, around about a kilo. I'm going to get it straight back, see if we can catch a bigger one. Thank you, my boy. Here we go. All right, the fish are, are coming onto the bite now. Keegan's on as well. Um, I'm putting back exactly the same bait, but I'm going to dab this into our new SA table track powder. If the wind picks up in clip drift, this is what you do. Don't be afraid of the SA powder. And if you, if you have the SA drag powder, it's basically SA powder with a bit of devil's track in it. Um, don't be afraid to do it. Are you on Keegan? All right, bakhat. Okay, I'm going to get my rod in while Keegan is playing that one out. Again, on that 65, 70 um, meters, not too far. And then I'm going to assist him to land his fish. Keegan's got quite a nice fish on, yeah. Ooh, like a boyki. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yours is bigger than mine. That's a better fish, Keegan. Um, a bully, my moniki. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been a it's been a bit of a toil. Um, like I said, we had some. Uh, when, when we came in this morning on the dirt road, there was a heavy thunder shower this morning early. 
But they are coming on now, so I caught one and I, I was still playing it out and Keegan's rod went. On about at 75, 80 meters, eh? Yeah. Okay, what, you, on, on this rod you had the Viskinder and the? Viskinder and F250. F250, okay, yes. yeah, two like a strong flavors with the Raptor float. Yeah, not a bad fish, hopefully they're going to start coming on now. Just one thing, Keegan, um, we don't pre-feed. Uh, I phoned Keegan earlier in the week. Fish gear. And uh, yeah. And uh, I told him, listen, I want to fish Clip Drift. We'll be fishing the public venue. No, we didn't pre-feed or anything. We rocked up like you rock up. And uh, we, we are battling a bit. I must say that as well. But we are catching fish. So, lucky, lucky. Keegan, you can put that one back. Keegan, we've got Afrikaans viewers as well. Yeah, and you, you just made a bait change now. Um, tell us in Afrikaans what, what you did here. Okay, um, so, who come, who come? Don't and call me um, I see my tani getrout, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, who come, who come? And then, um, cold front. Okay, so, who come, who come is, is a very strong um, eucalyptus floro dip. And then, cold front is a almond TCP dip. Um, with, with paste like, uh, like, like the paint. And then, on, on, the, on the hook bait, only a piece of dough. Ja, oom, met dan dip ek my deegie binnen in hierdie wat ek al twee saam smeer op die, op die deegie self met my vingers. Ok, ok. En, Interesting. Why, why? Want hierdie weer het ons nou gesien, werk hierdie sterker gere baag goed, en as jy dit ook op jou hoek al sit, dan is het alsof dit een bykie groter vis ook bring. Ek meen, ek het die vorige vis, hier was een bykie groter ook geweest. Yes, so. En ons gooi hem op die selfde plek hier weer. Okay. Um, makes a lot of sense to me. Back in the day, we used to fish a lot of uh, eucalyptus. We fished a lot of TCP, yeah. and remember that when you fish clip drift and you've got you've got wild weather, lively water, go for that stronger flavors. Use the eucalyptus. Use the um, the TCP. That'll work. And also these um, that is blue on the yeah yeah. This is what we in the old days. Ja, leer maar, leer maar van die oude mense af, back to basics. Nee, hey, wees oud, die wees oud. <laughs> Keer het in te doot. <laughs> 100% oom. Nou, sy Keegan's got a lekker run, ja. Keegan, pick her up, pick her up. <laughs> lekker, short rod again. Eight foot again oom. Lekker, lekker. We mustn't try over the fish. Here we go, lekker Keegan. Another nice one. Okay, Keegan, looks like your bait change paid off. Definitely. Yeah. No, good. This was on that cold front? Yes, well, cold front with the hukom blukom. With the hukom blukom, okay, yeah. The dough smeared in what I smeared in it. Yeah, yeah. So, so just a plain dough. So remember, when sometimes when the going gets tough um, and you can't buy a bite, change your hook baits and I've learned that sometimes you just have to take away the float sometimes they, they just eat on the bottom especially when new water is coming in John T you like a thing <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um, it's not only the dips that can make a difference your, your physical hook bait can also make a difference do it again catch another one definitely well, bye bye donkey shop shop Take it, take it, take it. We've got a nice bite on our deep rod. Ooh, boom chakalaka. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. Take some line, take some line. This feels a bit better. We've been catching a couple of small fish off camera. Um, and we we dearly want to catch bigger fish, but I must say the the wind has turned now, and uh, it's coming from it's coming more um, easterly now. This morning it was a bit from the south, and it was quite it cooled the water down quite a bit. But since it turned now, the fish started showing a bit closer, and there's more activity. And this rod was in a water for maybe about 35, 40 minutes. Did a recast on it, exactly the same baits. Yeah, we're on. 
This feels like a better fish. Oh yes, much, much better. Um, luckily we're just fishing one hook. This fish went around this reed point. Didn't touch the reeds, but normally just add a hook and it will touch the reeds and it's gone. Yeah, this feels a lot better. Here we go, here we go. Looks like a bit of a ghost carp. This is where you lose a lot of fish under the rot tip. While I'm playing this fish out, um, remember to tell your friends and family about our program, Let's Go Fishing, our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe, it doesn't cost any money to subscribe on it. Just um, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Um, so that when a new program drops, you'll be notified either via Instagram or via Facebook. And uh, yeah, so you can spread the good news and spread the tips that we share to you. And Keegan, you've got a, a TikTok channel. Yes. What's your, what's your TikTok channel? What's your, what's your TikTok name, your handle name? Keegan Boeta Engel or Keegan Boeta 5. Okay, and what, what do you do on there? You share some... Fishing tips. Okay. And just short tips for people that don't know um, the basic stuff and then I can teach them from there. Okay, Bakhat. So follow That's Keegan. Here we go, here we go. Keegan, you must always keep buta. Alright, here we go, 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 here we go. Man oh man. There we go, there we go, there we go. Thank you. Waka waka. Um, low. Mm. First bomb. Here we go. I think I must get another bee sting. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Got, got stung by a bee just now. Here we go. Around about two and a half to three kgs. Nice little clip drift cop. Man, that hard garlic float does the trick. What I did, yeah, I did recast off camera. I just put a, a bit longer dough and this rod was at around about 115 meters. Same dips, same everything. I'll rebate it now and just show you again. Let me get this fish back and see if we can catch another one. Thank you fellow. There we go. Keegan, let's do take two. We are back here at Clip Drift. Um, we normally don't split up our shoot, but with our previous shoot at Clip Drift, we were interrupted by a heavy rainstorm and we couldn't finish our, our DVD, so we decided to be coming back. But now, it's two months later and it's winter now, so it's really, really cold. We also moved from um, Lakeview to the private side there's a couple of houses on this side that's privately owned um, we wanted to go back to lakeview but they've got the national um, trials um, for south bath at lakeview so keegan van ons is van vandaag um i geloof so um i oh. hope so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the first time in i think about 20 years that i'm fishing this side of clip drift like i said it is privately owned so it's a friend of mine's place where we are um, only decided yesterday that we came. I'm thankful that Keegan could fit it in because he's part of the show. And but we have to finish it today. So the pressure's on, Buta. Yeah, well. we have to catch him. Let's let's get our rods in. Let's see if we can catch a couple. Okay, on my right hand rod, I've got a hard garlic float with a white dough on the bottom hook. On the top hook, plain hard yellow float with a um, a piece of white dough. And then all I'm going to do for this time of the year, I'm going to spray some chop chop on the millibomb, just like that. And with that, I'm going to put some Bun Spice 101. So this one still has the black magic sticker on. We changed the names of some of our dips. So black magic has become Bun Spice 101. Just like that, I'm going to get it in while I get it in. Um, Keegan's going to show you what he's going to put on his first rod. Before I throw it in, some magical powder for clip drift. 
plain custard powder. Some of the Moyers one. Let's get it in. Kela onze die Raptor, Piegia en F250 op die bal. En dan zoals jullie kan zien, um, hardloop die dip af op die as. Ek de Kiana zachte fluit en ek het een Raptor zachte fluit. Samen so met de Suit weer die Egi. So, kom eens kyk. Waar gaan hy? On my right hand rod, I've got a soft track fluit. That's our devil's track fluit with a little white dough behind it. And on the top hook, I just have a why not oozing float. That is a eucalyptus oozing float. I'm going to put some Spitfire on this on this ball, but not a lot. Of, um, I'm playing around with Spitfire to see if we can put it into a spray. Exactly the same concentrate value in the spray as in the thicker one. So not too much on there. And then I'm going to do some RKO. Now RKO is one of those children in my box that I don't speak a lot about. It's a fruity, flowery um, flavor and it catches fish whenever I throw it. I actually should throw it way more. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Back into the custard powder, just like that. I don't think we're going to catch a lot of fish today, but the reward's going to be in big fish. So we're going to throw this in and just leave it until they bite. Let's get it in. Ek jylle so hierso, gooi ons uh, bottom en die rede vir dit is om bykie verder afstand te kry en een lange strop vir die boonsoek gaan ons, sit ons een Kiana fluit op so dat hy uit die slikheid is um, as, die, as die slik is daar voor in die water en dan op die bal het ek beegje en spitfire een van my ginsteling dips in Clip Drift Dam om te hengel. Ek meng om eindelijk gewoonlik 50-50 in een botelkie. Vandag het ek somme hulle apart opgesit. Maar kom ons kyk wat sy groot visse kan vang vandag met hom. Wat vat hy? Aan kieke? Yes, om lauw is aan. Als hy is hy boerstrop van jou? Yes, om net as ek om gesê het. Als hy het mooi gehaard loop. Ik denk niet, hij is klaar nu, Ja. Ik denk, ik denk hij is ver van het klaar of hier die vis. Dat is een beautiful vis, Kieger. Dank je wel. Dat is een prachtig boerstrop opgeteld en hij why not put opgeteld, hij bloek omput. Jezus hoor. Dat is hij. En dit wijst maar niet veel, als jij, als jij, um, als jij, als jij, Hoos is voor koos is, soos wat hulle sê. As die vis hier buiten hier probeer aan te stop, try another trace if, if the trace that, you, that you're fishing with is not working. Keegan, out of three rods we've got one bottom trace. He threw that in and uh, boom, first fish on. And it was in the water for about 45 minutes. So I'm definitely going to change one of my rods to a bottom trace. It is something that works very well in clip drift. Um, so yeah, make sure that, that you sometimes ring the changes, not only, only with the floats and the dip, um, but that you ring it with the um, with your traces as well. We're going to take a quick picture and then we're going to get this fish back. As jylle, die wind het nou opgesteek, so ek het nou bykie meer dip opgesit. Dit is BG en Spitfire met een Why Not Pit op elke hoek en een lekker lang dik deegie. Um, een duivels draak deegie en ek het om so'n bykie gesmeer in haar nice. Okay guys, I'm also making a change to the bottom trace. I don't use them often, but on days like today, I just get that feeling that's the way we're gonna have to go. So on the bottom hook, a why not pip with a piece of white dough behind it. Then on the top hook, why not float with a piece of white dough behind it. And I followed suit to Keegan, the BG and the Spitfire on the bomb. I just added some SA powder to that. Um, let's get it in and see if we can get a fish on this bottom trace as well. Ok 
Kiegen, wat zit die controle van jou so sag? Uh, ek het hulle laat stel, oom. <laughs> sy, hy vis jy is aan, wel dan, hy weet sy ander stok ook. Dus, um, it's really cast it and leave it. Um, this rod has been in the water now for about an hour and a half. And uh, that's how it is in the winter in, uh, at Lip Drift. We've taken our, our jackets off now, but there's a quite a cold wind blowing. So, um, and it's coming, it's actually a northwesterly wind that's blowing and that's unusual that that wind is cold. But yeah, this year with the weather in our country, everything is possible. So, um, I've thrown in my, my bottom trace. I really got it out far. And my other rod is still in with the, with the sliding red flag. I'm just going to leave it and hopefully we'll pick up something as well. Um, we are both on here. Um, Keegan's other rod ran as well, the one with the bottom trace again. And that just tells me that is the way to go. So um, his rod with his red flight trace also went. And, uh, um, but that's after about an hour and a half, touching two hours. So, and this bottom trace was in the water for, for not very long. So I'm quite optimistic that mine's going to go as well. Um, this fish is just going over my lines now, so I'll have to go fetch it. There's another beautiful fish. Well done, Keegan. Thank this is you. one of those purple cops, my favorite fish. The, the fish on the other rod unfortunately came off the, the bottom trace hooked on, I think on one of those reeds um, that, that was cut off and yeah, unfortunately it, it came off. But a nice fish, again on that Spitfire BG. Yes, ah, sir. well done, well done, well done. We're gonna take a quick snappy or two and then get it back and then we're gonna catch another one. Another one, nog een. Hey, jy begin Engels praat die ou. <laughs> He's a fish on. Fish on. Donkey Keegan on that bottom trace. I must say this wind has turned our day into a horrible day. But luckily, Keegan the mayor of Clip Drift. Ooh, no katale yo gas here. Has um, suggested that we we throw some bottom traces, and yeah, it's working. This one was in the water for a bit longer than an hour, but the red fly traces aren't producing anything. Again, BG Kiana on the bomb. Why not pip on the one hook? Why not float on the other hook with backed up with does? And uh, it took long, but it's a result. I'm going to go into the water because it's cutting in behind the reed bush. So let's change that angle and land it. Boom, chakalaga! <laughs> All right, guys, there's my fish. Thanks to Keegan for netting it. Um, this was on that bottom trace. Same as Keegan's with the Spitfire and BG on the bomb. And then on the hooks, just a Y not pip. Um, why not float on the top hook with backed up with does and I just threw it as far as possible and I just left it so if you don't catch fish in clip drift in winter time pause and loss go ahead and leave it you will catch a fish we're gonna take a quick picture and then we're gonna get this beautiful fish back guys thanks for watching our show remember to like and subscribe on our channel tell your friends and family about our channel this is our last fish um, we're gonna head home now and we'll definitely vis visit Lip Drift after the winter again. But what a beaut. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Mwah. <laughs>